Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. So today I want to look at something completely different, which is how I do my lighting for my videos. I used to just use my overhead pot lights in my room downstairs, uh, but I recently got a GVM 480 LED light and a stand, and I want to see what kind of difference this makes and also just do a quick video review of this light. So let's get started. Alright, so this is the way the lighting usually looks for my videos, and all I'm using is just four overhead pot lights. Um, and while it looks okay, it's just a little bit flat. And so I wanted something that would actually uh, just look a little bit nicer and more professional. And so I did some research online, and I found a LED light, uh, which seemed like it might be a good fit. So this is uh, from GVM, great video maker, and this is the... LED 480 LS and what this is is it's a matrix of 480 LEDs and half of them are yellow and half are white and then you can actually control uh, the brightness and the color by these knobs on the back and the kit itself is really nice uh, the case that it came with uh, is actually pretty solid and sturdy uh, the LED light itself is made out of aluminum it also came with a diffuser uh, with some standoffs from two different sizes so that you can actually make the light a little bit less harsh. Taking a look at my new lighting setup, I've got the GVM 480 over here as my main or key light. And then over on the other side, I've got a simple LED magnifier light as a fill light. And then finally up above, I now have a small LED light as a hair light. You control the GVM 480 using two knobs in the back. So this left one controls the temperature, so you can go all the way from 6800, which is whiter than sunlight, all the way down to 2300, which is like a soft candle light. And then once you've adjusted the temperature, you control the intensity with the rightmost knob, and this goes from 99 all the way down to 10%. Looking from the front, you can see that as I change the color temperature from 2300, which is the soft yellow, and slowly increase up to 6800, the yellow lights get dimmer while the white LEDs come on. And finally, once we've gotten all the way to 6800, it's only the white LEDs. So somewhere in the middle, around 4500, is where the light is actually the brightest because then all of the LEDs are lit. The GVM 480 can run on either AC or DC power. The DC power can be supplied by two standard 7.2 volt batteries, and these have a rated running time of one and a half hours before needing a recharge. You can adjust the tilt of the GVM 480 using these two adjustment knobs on the side, or if you want, you could mount the entire thing horizontally using the included hole in the stand. A couple things that I did not like about the GVM 480 is that you can only tilt it so far before it runs into either the AC cord or into the diffuser panel. And the AC cord isn't really long enough, so you can see that even though I have the stand only up about four feet, it's actually dangling. So let's go ahead and we'll plug in the light and try it out. Okay, so this is with the GVM 480 set to 5500 Kelvin and at 100% power. All right, so now I've got the fill light turned on and this is just a 56 LED magnifier light. Okay, and this is with the hair light, which is just a small LED work light, which I have hanging above and behind me. All right, so overall, I really like the GVM 480. Uh, I was easily able to light up my small room downstairs and I really like how you can adjust both the temperature and the intensity to just get the perfect effect. Uh, so I'm going to plan on using it for all of my future uh, YouTube videos. And thanks for watching.